What's up everyone? Welcome to episode two of the Office Remodel Series. So today we're going to be working on this camera cage behind me here. And while it's not that unorganized, there is a giant pile of just junk just that have accumulated here over the last couple weeks, especially trying to kind of clean things up from the, from the closet and then just trying to get camera gear kind of simplified and shortened down. Like I, I've got camera accessory parts sitting in a bag here and I've even got Ikea organizers, more, more of these guys just in, in white to help with that organization but as you can see it's not gotten very far so we're going to go in today we're going to kind of clean things up a little bit make it look nice and pretty and give everything a home and a place and make sure it's actually functional so let's get to it Everything's finally cleared off, cage is empty, and is now on this giant mess of a desk. But, this is better, this is baby steps. So, what I'm gonna do now actually though, is you can't see right along here is a nice little pencil mark it's from where I first hung these two boards up, and I just never touched it up with paint. But, we're gonna do that real quick, take everything apart real fast, and then get back into kind of sorting things through. So I'm sure a few of you are wondering how I was able to get an exact color match for my apartment walls. While most apartment complexes will provide you a small can of touch of paint for free, you may just have to provide your own container. I find this to be extremely beneficial to anyone wanting to decorate or personalize your space without having to be extra cautious when doing so. Finally to the point that I believe is the best it's going to get at this time. So let's kind of walk through what we've done differently here. So the main big thing that's changed is, you guys remember at the beginning of the video, this was just covered with different junk and other camera accessory parts and just miscellaneous items for the apartment. But as you can see, it's clean, organized. Wow. I digress. But anyways, so let's kind of walk through the uh, organization changes I've done with this. So. I've added additional Ikea bins here. Everything is now actually sorted by the type of product it is. That way I'm not sitting here fumbling through three or four of these trying to figure out what I'm looking for. Uh, have my iPad and notebook here. I've got my pocket notebooks for when I'm out in the field or when I'm just out and about in general. I've got all my cables organized by type. I have a lot more uh, USB micro cables than I realized, but I, better to have more than none, I guess. Uh, there's a smaller project here that is in the works. I'm going to make a portable battery charging rack. I just have to get some materials for it first before I can actually work on it. And then I've got uh, additional AirPods, filters and stuff here, 35mm uh, film, cleaning supplies, gaff tape. You can't go wrong with gaff tape. I don't care who you are. Gaff tape is your best friend. And then just power bricks and then SD card holder here. And Shameless plug. Like and subscribe, follow, hit me up. Anyways, so, and now on the side here, so I already kind of talked a little bit about this in the video, but so instead of having tripods and all the different uh, light stands kind of scattered or just sitting on the wall, did what I did was I went to Lowe's, picked up some hooks and some bungee cords. And while this is not necessarily the cleanest, look for this it does keep everything organized and it is easy just to simply just 
pop that off, pull out what I need. Not necessarily the easiest to go back sometimes, but it's fine, it's fine. Everything's at least here, nothing's gonna fall, and I don't have to sit there and search through four or five different bags trying to find some. And then all my camera gear sits over here to the left, so I've got my lenses, I've got my bodies, I've got the battery brick here, and then all my primary stuff I utilize, so all my uh, small rig accessories, camera straps, all that stuff stays in here, portable hard drive in here. This is the stuff I use most often, so wanted to make sure I had easy access to that instead of having to dig through three or four different vents just to find everything. All right, so that about does it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below for any organizational tips you might use for your own home, personal home. Uh, stay tuned here in a couple weeks. Episode three will be out. We've got a few more remodels we're doing here in the office right now. And we'll even talk about what we did to the wall behind us there. So till next time, guys, I'll see ya. Hello. Say hi for YouTube. Yeah. Like and subscribe for kitten. <laughs>